Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Project Hospital. So this is a up and coming game that will, is going to be released uh, towards the end of October uh, and we've been given a special look at the game uh, from the developers Oxymoron Games. So again, a massive thank you to those guys for giving us this beta key and a very early look at the game. So um, a few days ago I did a first look video which went into a few of the early details of how the game works, how to generally play it and what the basics are. Um, so what I've decided to do is jump back in uh, and start putting together an actual um, clinic, like an actual hospital. So that's what we're doing just here. So I've done a little bit of work um, which is you can see in the background to my ramblings um, that I've just put in. Uh, all the buildings that we sort of went through in the last episode, so we are putting in the reception, the waiting area, the GP's office, uh, a toilet restroom kind of area and a staff room. And then we open up the clinic, get some patients in and we go through um, some sort of uh, treatments and things like that uh, and then also start with some of the objectives. Um, so that's what we are doing in today's video. Um, so as always, if this is the kind of content you like, don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel and if you've got uh, and if you enjoy it, don't forget to give us a like down below. Any questions, queries, comments or suggestions, um, pop them down below as well. Um, yeah, so welcome to Project Hospital. Um, so I thought I'd also do a little outside area. Is that something you can do in this game? Um, sorry, microphone noisy. Um, yeah, you can do little outside places, um, little gardens. Um, it's very, very customizable. To be fair, um, it's a it's a bit daunting when you first sort of look at it from a view. And I think that's what some of the comments have been about from a few people who watched the first look video. That there's a lot going on. Which I yeah, I admit there is a lot going on. But if you just take it one step at a time, like we're doing just here, just putting in the fundamental building, the first couple of things, um, getting in a couple of staff, it's pretty manageable. Uh, I think by the end of this video, we end up getting, uh, I think it was, I think about nine or ten patients treated. Um, so it's not too bad, not too busy. Uh, and we do actually get a second GP's office in as well towards the end of this video. So. Um, it might look daunting on the surface, but if you just get in here, get in here, take, take your time, be calm. Um, it works out quite well, uh, and yeah, you can um, really get get into this kind of like doctor kind of mindset because um, when like you can actually fully treat these people, um, send them for different scans and different diagnoses. It's really good, so in depth. Uh, I'm really impressed with it so far. The the level of detail they've gone into is is amazing. Um, Anyway, that's enough for me rambling over this time lapse of putting this weird hospital together. Um, let's uh, go back into the live footage now uh, and carry on with uh, part one and get this hospital open and get in some, uh, I keep wanting to say guests, no, patients. Let's treat some patients. Right, so we have got the clinic open. Um, Frank Williams is just coming in for his consultation. So I'll tell you what, let's... Uh, Swap it to player control and let's uh, take over this treatment. So here are all his possible diagnoses. Um, obviously we're still having the interview right now. So, oh god, this is quite a bad one. So he's either got influenza or hepatitis. <laughs> okay, influenza seems to be what he's got. Commonly known as the flu. Uh, okay, so the patient is waiting for me. Right, so we know he's got this. Uh, antivirals is the uh, potential cure. Um, but we could do with doing something else, can't we? So current symptoms is that. Uh, available examinations. Let's have an oval cavern. No, let's do a temperature measurement. It's still only a possible diagnosis, you see. So we need to make sure we need to get that to a final diagnosis, I believe. Spin that on a little bit. Okay, so he's definitely got a fever. Let's do a cavity inspection. Okay, and a physical examination. And that's pretty much everything we've done then. Okay, so it's not getting to final diagnosis, but we, we know what it is. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see you just click on it. <laughs> right, okay. So that's it. There we go. And the antivirals is the treatment. So there we go. 
treat him up. Finished. Yeah, wonderful. Send them home, I, I assume. Um, vest. And how do I send them home? That one. Send home. Okay. We treated our first dude. That's good. Wonderful. So that's basically how you do that. That was a nice easy one. Let's treat one more guy. Um Who's this guy? Peter Jones. Isn't that guy isn't that from Dragon's Den? Maybe. Right. We're gonna control this guy again. We're gonna treat him. Okay, so he's got we think it's scoliosis. Back pain, muscle weakness. Okay, we can't ex we can't uh, any X-ray at the moment because we don't have that. So if we put that in, all we can do for now is ex um, exercise. I'm afraid, and send you home. Bye. Yes, we could do with uh, an X-ray. So let me just show you around my little clinic for the uh, for the time being. So here's our car park. Uh, I've done a little bit of a sort of garden area. Let's put the walls up so you can see it. Uh, has it got a roof on it yet? Very flat roof. We need to sort. Let me sort that roof out. Um, so the, here is our front of the hospital, and um, we've got uh, all these lovely floor to ceiling windows, which I think look quite nice. And there is our reception area just here, uh, our waiting room. We've got the GP's office, toilet, uh, a little janitor's cupboard thing, which I don't know where the janitor keeps naffing off to. He keeps going home for some reason, uh, and this is the staff room. Uh, yeah, I need to figure out about the, uh, uh, who's he? Yeah, you've gone home. Bye. I need to finish, um, where is he? Where's my staff gone? Here. Uh, my janitor guy. Where do I go to my janitor guys? Here, Jordan. Why is he at home? That's what I don't understand. Assign workspace, which he's got. I just don't understand why he's gone home. I don't get that. Long commute. He's a gamer. What does that mean? Hidden perks. Um. Yeah, I don't really understand why they keep going home. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. We'll figure that out in a bit. Um, so, he's going to carry on doing all these patients. Well, not doing the patient, that's a bit weird. Uh, but he's going to continue assessing the patients. Um, so, I've left this little corridor space up here for something else. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, we can edit this here. Oops, put a random bit of flooring in. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually, let's uh, make this floor a bit nicer. For our waiting area. There we go. Um, so what I want to do is it this one? Um, yeah, and then click in here. Let's add some stuff to the wall because we've got like a big wall here which we we can just sort of add stuff on. So I think a notice board. Uh, go there. Just kind of liver poster. Digestion. Uh, info and what else? Skull. That'll be nice. Put some little plants in. There we go. It's good. Why are these all different colours? I don't understand. I don't really know what I've, I've broke something here. <laughs> um, no, no, we're good. There we go. Right, so that's all. Yeah, that's all coming on a little bit. Oh, he's looking at the posters a lot. See? She's having a little go look at the old poster as well. Amazing. Right, what else can I build? Stat lab. Unlocked by insurance company objectives. Um okay. So I need one of them. 
that how many I've cured? Yeah, three cured patients. Rooms, I need to, so I need to, insurance company objective. So I need to do that really, don't I? So let's have a look. So if I add cheapo care, so I need to add, I need to treat more patients. And they're my rewards. I see. Oh, I see. Right. Ah, so that is why. So if I treat 15 patients, I get one of these labs. Right. Okay. We might need another GP's office for that, potentially. In fact, should we build a second one up here? Is that worth doing? I don't think money's a problem in the game yet, so screw it. Let's build another GP's office. Oh, wait. Of course, we need a actual sort this flooring out first, don't we? Okay, build some walls. Excellent. Uh, in fact, we'll add the. Uh, why has it done that? There we go, that's better. So then we can build the wall. There. 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 And fill that up there. Okay. So this is going to be another GP's office. Alright, so let's go back to this. Uh, oh god, there's some random bits of. Oh, you won't have a door near. <laughs> there's a random wall there. See that? Have I got it? Is that it? Nope, still there. There we go, got it. You absolutely got it, nailed it. Right, GP's office in there. So same again, we need to add a desk, which can go this side. And he needs a PC and a printer. Um, why is that not counting? Is it because he hasn't got a chair, potentially? Yep. Uh, he needs a chair there for the patient. Examination table. A lamp. Um, bin can go in that corner there. Uh, sink. I don't know if we put a sink in the last one, did we? I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, we need one of these. One of these, another one of them, it's one of these, um, whatever that is, and an eye test. Okay, excellent, that's pretty much done. Right, let's add in some windows. I do look a bit, love a good window. And a door, because, you know, that'll help. Get in and out. Excellent. So that's done. Um, let's sort the flooring out. I want to make sure it looks the same as the other one. So we used the black floor before. So that's that. Lovely. And then we need to hire another doctor. So this one. Right, who do we want? So we've got Rachel Brown, uh, Sarah Cole, Casey, and David. So he's got quite good stuff. 212. He's quite expensive. She's got more. Um, I think him. I'm going to go him. Right. There we go. Uh, I wonder if I can... Can I add? Uh, let me have a look. If I go to corridor. I want to see if I can... Yeah, let's take some chairs on the corridor just just in case people want to sit outside there we go put a vending machine in there and that'll do okay 
There we go. So at least then there's some chairs up, up and down the corridor, just in case people want them. And now we've got two doctors, so that's good. So we can pay, um, do double the patients, I guess. I keep saying do. I need to stop saying that, because that's, that's weird. Um, so how many have we cured so far, then? We still have been pause there for ages, haven't we? So I'm guessing it's not many. But we could do again that stat lab, really. Um, so that would be quite good. So we'll speed time on a little bit and just get some patients cured, because we really need to hit this goal. Because at the moment, I say we've got we've cured five, which isn't ideal. I mean, it is only dinner time, um, but we have lunch. Okay, so we're open till six. So at the moment, I've only got um, I've only got day shift. I, I haven't hired any sort of evening doctors, so yeah, we'll skip it on. Oh, well, the janitor's back now. That's good. He's actually bothered to turn up. Well done. He's kind of left that in a really stupid place, but at least he's turned up. So, right, we're up to eight patients cured. Well, I don't think we've got time. I genuinely don't think we've got time to cure another... Um, yeah, I don't think we've got enough time to cure the rest of them by six o'clock, which is going to be a shame. But we can we can try our best. Let's, let's just see. Okay, right, I've got the first objective done, so I got money, that's good, thank you. That's gone up to 20 patients per day now, so we might do it then, we might just do it. And then we can build a stat line, oh, there's no clear diagnosis, uh, oh, okay. Let's go to her, so she's either got tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, what's Okay, so ideally we need an MRI or an X-ray, which I, I don't have either of them, so... Um, hmm. Yeah, I can't really do much for you. Sorry, love. Yeah, sorry. Can I, How do I build the other stuff? Do I have to unlock all this rest of it? Like... Intensive care, general surgery, and radiology. What's under general surgery? Um, no, I don't think I can even do these yet anyway. I think I need to unlock this stuff by insure the insurance companies. I think Stat Lab is the only thing I can really do. Because the prefab rooms are all here, but. I don't think. I don't think it'd let me. Up. Nurses station. Oh, okay. It put me one of them in. Uh, X-ray room. P yeah. So I haven't got stuff like X-ray and stuff yet. So, so we can't do anything with that. Are you just sitting there? Go home. I can't do anything with you. Go away. Killed my time, that has. Because now, for. Because now, what have I done? 12. Oh, it's really annoying. 12 people. But never mind, it's fine. We'll get there maybe tomorrow. Oh, well, I'll just have to open evening surgery and get the rest of them in. Then we can start expanding out this hospital. So. There we go. That's day one, I suppose. We've still got one more guy to cure, so he's still here till eight o'clock. Day shift till eight. Oh, I see. So the staff here till eight o'clock. Then what? Do they just go home? I don't really know. So the opening hours of yeah ended, and everyone's just sitting around waiting for some weird reason. Yeah, they're all going home. Look how dirty that floor is. You'd think the janitor would just do a bit of clearing up, wouldn't you? But maybe not. Um, okay, so they're all going home. Uh, 
right, okay. So what we'll do is probably leave it there <laughs> for episode number one in whatever this hospital is called. Can you name the hospital, actually? I don't, I don't know if you can. Um, no, I don't know if you can. And what we'll probably do in the next one is add some night shift people, just so at least then we've got something, and this, we can add these totals then. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to expand out this hospital. So it's not going to be a massive one, because I've only used the small area. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, it's coming on quite well. I'm going to take it one step at a time, because this is a very in-depth game, uh, as I did mention in my original look-through. Um, so uh, we'll just take it one step at a time, slowly learn what we do, and uh, hopefully expand this out into a nice little clinic. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big like down below and con uh, con consider <laughs> sorry I get my words out. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.